Hey guys, I've been roofing for about 16 years of my life. I started when I was actually 16 and I'm 33 now, so you could say going on 17 years. I've installed hundreds, probably thousands of bundles of shingles. And I'm gonna show you a way that I've used for the last year on how to cut that you don't even need to carry one of these things anymore. Um, I'm going to tell you a few things about these as well. These, you know, on a big roof, you do a lot of cutting. There's a pretty good risk when you're using one of these. You cut yourself, cut your leg, break the blade, slip, whatever. There's always a risk using one of these knives, even when you got a good quality one. When you're cutting cap with a knife and dragging your hand over the shingles a lot, if you're not wearing gloves, fiberglass shingles, if you don't have rough hands, will really irritate your hands, especially in the cracks. So the way I'm going to show you eliminates a lot of that as well. And not to mention, you know, take today, it's around zero degrees Celsius. These things cut hard when they're cold okay very hard it's you know it gets to be annoying as a roofer um, a lot of times you make the new guy do the cutting but do you really want a new guy running one of these things with the risk of cutting himself so the technique i'm going to show you does have a few downfalls um, one it throws a little bit of debris sometimes makes a little bit of smoke if you hit a nail it might make a spark so I recommend having a small sheet of plywood for a backboard um, and depending on what kind of house you're working on, you know, don't do it around plastic siding or stuff like that where you're going to shoot sparks into a crack. Um, one thing about what I'm going to show you, it's extremely fast, extremely efficient. Um, a blade virtually lasts a very long time unless you're cutting through the face of these thick architectural shingles which good luck doing that on a cold day with one of these. You'll just make a mess out of it because the rocks throw your blade all over the place. So the tool I'm gonna use is cordless, it has a battery. Um, I have been in situations where I've had to use a cord at one, doesn't matter. Lo and behold, the mini grinder. Now who would have thought, right? It's a tool out of the shop. Um, again, I have stated it does have a few disadvantages, but here we have a stack of seven shingles, okay? And what I'm going to do is show you how quick this baby cuts cap. seven. stop watching I want to explain a few more things to you so as you see not a terrible amount of smoke um, cut the stack of seven you're getting pretty much maximum on the blade depth but this was just an old bundle of crap I had laying around so I wanted to use it for a demonstration now it is a little bit dirty you know you get a little bit of dust but see that blade it's barely affected most of the major dust sticks into the guard, which doesn't affect anything. But now I'm gonna show you. It's a cold day, here's an architectural shingle. I'm sorry to tell you, that's way easier than using one of these things. 
And in the run of the day, especially if you're a one-man show or a two-man show, this thing's going to save you a lot of time. And, you know, for the disadvantages, the advantages definitely outweigh it big time. Thanks for watching. Try it out, see what you think.